Okay, so check out these drills that I am running with David in this video. This is very important. This is something that a lot of players do not do and do not train and do not practice, and that is off-ball movement. Doing a quick corner-to-wing cut or a wing-to-corner cut, even shuffling as David just was, is something that a lot of players don't do, even in game. But really quickly, if you want to be able to shoot the ball from further away, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. Now, in-game, you will be having times where you're shuffling from one spot to another. For example, if you've got a player who is driving on your team, or, I mean, like, your teammate is driving to the basket, and you need to lift or you need to sink, you will want to keep your shoulders square to the basket because that will allow you to be able to shoot that shot much faster. Now, we can see that David is going at a fairly good clip. He's not exactly going full speed, but this could be roughly his game speed. I would like him to go just a bit faster. But when it comes to this drill, sprinting corner to wing, catch that ball, shoot, watch the footwork. Footwork is extremely important. Sometimes David is going to be going between a two-foot jump stop. Other times he's going to be catching the ball on the outside foot, going to a two-foot jump stop. And other times he's going to curl in, and he's going to go right, left, right into the shot. Different footwork all has different purposes. David likes to stop on his right and go to two. That is just something that David really does prefer. And you can also go left foot out too. It all depends. You want to practice as much as you can. Because if you can practice the footwork, for example, the footwork here, right, left, right, that is going to allow you to get your right side in line. And no, this is not a travel under FIBA rules. So, learning post to wing cuts fast. Get that ball fast. Take that shot fast. Being able to get shots off as fast as possible using the cuts that you would normally use in game and learning the footwork and getting the footwork down so that you are able to make more shots in your game is extremely important. Being able to catch right left right off of a quick pop out from the post is extremely important and then being able to push off of that right foot to create potentially a little bit of a gap can also be very beneficial too here is an iverson cut cutting across that free throw line now there he made a mistake right there he curled in he turned his back to the ball but if he can turn and keeps his chest open to the ball to catch and shoot now that is going to be what you want to look for for our shooter and that is the proper footwork that you would be using so that you are able to be able to hit more shots. Remember, you always want to face the man who is passing you the ball because that is where the ball is going to be coming. And if you turn your back, you now lose sight of where the ball might be coming from or the player just in general who is passing to you. Now, if you want to be able to shoot the ball from further away, make sure to go check out my shooting workout that is down in the description below. And I hope that these basketball shooting drills and footwork as well as cutting paths help you become a better shooter in basketball. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Good work, David, in this training session.